Hey coders, let's talk about a bubble sort today. This is a very famous sort. Uh, when you st start learning uh, sorting, this is the very first sorting that one would learn. So we'll sort, we'll uh, try to see what this bubble sort is all about. Okay. Uh, as an example, let's pick up a list of uh, four numbers. Let's say five, four, three, and eight. We'll try to sort this number as an example. Okay. Uh, for a better understanding, whatever number that I pick, uh, you know, uh, pick to sort within a given list, I call that as a key and then uh, we'll track that down uh, how uh, we will sort the entire list uh, uh, with the help of this understanding. Cool. So since we have got a list of number of uh, uh, four numbers, which is five, four, three, eight, we'll have to start with the very first number five and uh, let's pick that number five as key so let's say the key is currently five we pick that number and compare that to the very next number in the right okay if the key which is five right now is greater than the number in the in the right which is four as you could see on the second row since the number key is greater than the number on the right what we have to do is we have to swap the number just like that cool so then the current key is five then we move on to the next iteration and then we compare the current key with the next number on its right which is three cool and if it is greater again we do a swap cool that's all we do then we move on to the fourth iteration where the current key is again five and then we compare it to the number on its right which is eight since 8 is greater than 5 we don't have to swap and then we move on to the next iteration which is 8 literally we moved the key to 8 uh, as we are in uh, the fifth iteration and then we compare the current key with the next item in the list since there is no more, there is no more item we repeat ourselves with the very first uh, item in the list so that's how uh, uh, we do the same thing again uh, with four again with four uh, with four as the key we compare that with three again since four is greater than three we will literally swap three and four and then compare four with five again and then since four is lesser than five will not do a swap and then uh, uh, move on to five five compared uh, that with eight so that's how we do uh, bubble sort uh, um, this would if we keep on uh, iterating um, uh, till uh, all the numbers are exhausted in the list we will end up uh, uh, we'll end up with the sorted list cool so in bubble sort there are only couple of uh, uh, rules that you have to uh, follow to uh, sort a given list uh, as, as i've explained earlier uh, if the key is lesser than the number to the right then the number on the right is the new key correct so on the third iteration the key is lesser than the number on the right correct so the new key literally was eight correct the new key was literally eight so that is rule number one where we applied on the third iteration and then the second rule is else let's say the key is greater than the number to the right correct if that's the case what we did is literally swiped so that is rule number two so we did that uh, on our second iteration 
say for example okay even we did it on the third iteration where we literally swapped uh, 5 with uh, 5 with 4 and 5 with 3 uh, so that's what uh, uh, as a summary we want to cover uh, as a overview of what uh, uh, bubble sort is all about see how we can implement bubble sort using javascript i'm using uh, uh, visual code within visual code i have an uh, stm html uh, file opened uh, within html uh, within this html file i have a script tag where i write all my javascript function uh, i've opened this html uh, page in a chrome browser where uh, it will allow me to uh, you know uh, display and show you the result of the bubble sort uh, using uh, javascript so let's uh, try to sort uh, uh, you know a list of items uh, using bubble sort as you could uh, i'm going to write a arrow function for bubble sort uh, bubble sort uh, i'm going to pass in a list of items uh, which will be an array uh, so i'll pass in this particular array so that uh, we can see how uh, it is all sorted so i want to iterate uh, all my items so i'm going to write a loop uh, int i and then i have to iterate till the length of the array is met so so till the length is uh, met i want to iterate so whenever i do this what i actually want is I want the value available in the ith position uh, compared that with the i plus month uh, position. So what do I mean by position is uh, this is just a best, uh, basic uh, you know uh, array. So if I am passing in uh, uh, array of uh, you know 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, the index position of uh, 5 is 0, the index position of uh, uh, 4 is 1, the index position of uh, 3 is 2, and then it goes on um, uh, till the end. So uh, if, I want, if I want to, what I actually want to do is I want to uh, pick the uh, pick 5 and compare it with 4. If 4 is lesser than 5, I just want to swap and then uh, 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 and then move on to the next index and then compare it with uh, the next item the uh, right and then uh, if uh, the number on the right is um, uh, lesser we just have to swap those numbers so so as an index what i have to do is uh, uh, i have another i uh, another uh, for loop where it start with uh, i plus one to push in and then uh, j has to continue till the length of uh, gth there is a typo on length len gth so till the length is met and then i increment uh, j to so what i actually want to do is i want to compare what is there on i if the position on zero which is the height position is in comparison uh, to the number on the right what i actually want to do is swap correct uh, so to swap this number i use uh, javascript uh, uh, you know e6 functionality where i pass in uh, i and then i want to swap that with an element that is available on j position so if i want to swap uh, i and j position what i actually passes i'm just quickly copying it i just swap this position okay so this should uh, swap me at the end of uh, uh, at the end of all the iteration it should leave a uh, uh, item to be sorted this is a very basic uh, sorting algorithm so at the end of uh, all the iteration it just uh, sorts so, so, you know sorts uh, uh, any given list okay uh, if you could see uh, at the end of uh, you know at the end of each iteration uh, the biggest number within a given list always goes to the uh, uh, goes to the top on the list okay uh, if uh, i'll have a link i'll uh, add a suggestion link on this particular youtube channel where you can fi find it on your uh, uh, top right corner uh, where uh, i uh, where you could see other uh, sorting algorithm as well if you are looking at uh, insertion sort and selection sort uh, these two sorting algorithm always try to bring the smallest element uh, uh, 
on a given list uh, to the very starting but bubble sort do does the reverse of uh, uh, this where it brings the biggest number on the list or on the list uh, and it will try to sort from there whereas insertion and selection sort uh, uh, tries to bring the smallest number on a given list and then it will try to sort from there once you go through the video that is available on the suggestion list uh, it will make more sense to you um, uh, so so if i print uh, the result for you it will it will it will show you how exactly the list is uh, sorted so if i call bubble sort and pass in uh, this array this should uh, sort me sort the result uh, for us so so if you could see you could see three four five eight and i can uh, bubbles sorry uh, so if we pass let's say an array of 9986321080 let's say 18 okay 8 um, if i want to give this number it uh, already sorts me as one two three six eight eight i think i have given eight uh, twice so it have even sorted uh, that two for us so uh, so this is what uh, uh, this is how uh, you implement uh, uh, you know bubble sort using a javascript uh, function uh, as usual uh, we have also uh, covered uh, uh, i have uploaded uh, all this as an example uh, uh, into our github page as well uh, where uh, you could uh, you know browse through this